Sometimes he couldn't get the fetus out. He would yank pieces, piece by piece, yeah. when they were over the size. And I'm talking about the whole floor dirty. I'm talking about me drenched in blood. We had several occasion, uh, occasions that where women would come in and um, they would actually be going in, in labor um, because um, that overnight insertion, the package, um, he might have gone a little bit too far with putting too many in there and some <coughs> women had um, started um, to cramp and mm -hmm. sometimes they would get to the clinic and they would make it to the OR room because they're in a line and you know when they get there they give them these pills called Cytotec and they put them in your, your gums. gums and it takes, I'm thinking it takes about an hour before you get a full effect and that makes you, your uterus start contracting. And so a lot of, um, we've seen a lot of cases where women would have to, they felt like they had to push and they had to run to the bathroom and stuff. And on some occasions we had women that were, um, the fetus were falling into the toilet or they were, um, or before even getting to the clinic, we had one incident where it was big news where the fetus was left in the toilet. I don't know if y'all heard of that one. She was at McDonald's. They stopped there in the morning and the fetus was left in the toilet and nobody ever found out oh, who's, yeah. whose fetus it was, but it was one of his patients. We knew it because we were watching it on the news that day that she was supposed to be in the clinic. 